All right, guys, this is the Ubiquity Wi-Fi station. It is a uh, wireless adapter by Ubiquity. I'm going to be using it for my uh, easy Wi-Fi broadcast enabled 6x6 Traxxas Summit FPV unit. But anyways, there's a few things you have to do before it's really um, ready to use for easy Wi-Fi broadcast. So this is it how it comes when you first buy it. There's a patch antenna built in here, which I am actually gonna use for my receiving end, but for the transmitting end, I'll need something more omnidirectional. So the first thing you gotta do is just crack it open. It splits apart along the seams here. Uh, there's no screws or anything. You just kinda gotta pry it apart. So once you do that, okay. The base comes off quite easily. Oh, there is some screws. Okay, so my uh, my mistake. Just pull the base off and then there's some screws. Yeah, you can't, it's not really focusing very well, but anyways. So once you have the case apart, undo those two screws on the bottom, pry it apart. This is what you're left with. This is the back where the USB plugs in, the back bottom, I guess. The front has this patch antenna, which it looks like is connected at two different points for transmit and receive, which we won't be using. We'll be taking that off uh, eventually. But interestingly enough, you can see that there is two UFL connectors back here. So I'm just basing this off of what I read on the internet on the Easy Wi-Fi broadcast thread. But if you can see here, the well, the one by my thumb here is J11, and this is J10. J10 is used for the amplified transmitter output, so we'll be using that one. Uh, J11 is for receive, so if I want to switch to an omnidirectional antenna in the future on my receiving end, I'll have to use J11. Unfortunately, it's not just as easy as plugging in. Okay, so we're semi-focused here. You can see there's a capacitor C68 right by J10 there and it, that's where it's soldered and there's a position for C69 and that couples the output to the antenna so we're gonna have to move that tiny little capacitor so I'm gonna try and do that now and then I'll come back to the video but once that's moved over then you can just well undo these plastic screws unsolder the antenna Bring the whole antenna off on the front. And then it should be ready to use an omnidirectional antenna. And then the only other thing you have to do is change the transmit power setting to 38, which I have a video on uh, previously. I'll put a link in the description. So I'm gonna try and unsolder the capacitor without screwing it up. Uh, and then we'll be back. All right, through some miracle, I think I actually moved the capacitor. Hard to see there. And it is a mess. It's barely, barely in the right place. Oh, you can't really see it. Barely in the right place. The solder is bad, but I measured continuity or I measured resistance across it and it was open. So I don't think it's shorted or anything. Hopefully the capacitor survived the heat treatment. I just used my normal soldering iron and it got stuck on that for a couple seconds. But anyways, so that, that'll be the hardest part, of course. Um, but now J10 will output um, the signal. So I got one of these little, oh man, focusing problems. Got one of these little connectors or extensions. And I have a 6 dB antenna. So I think uh, I think for now I'm just gonna test it before we go any further. Well it works. It's a miracle. Okay, so here's the antenna taken off. Uh, doesn't really look not too exciting. Um, that's pretty much it. In conclusion, if you want to use the Ubiquiti Wi-Fi station, you're gonna, well, first things first, 
Adjust your transmit power to 38 is a safe number for now. Uh, and then right by J10, move the C68 capacitor to C69, which is by far the hardest part. Uh, and then once you do that, you just undo the screws, take off the antenna, um, get a UFL or a piece of coax with UFL on one end and your preferred connector on the other end. And you should, should pretty much be ready to go. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be hardwiring in power to the Raspberry Pi and the Wi-Fi station because that's really how it should be done. But uh, this video pretty much just pertains to this card. So thanks for watching.